Hello everyone, it is me Chris T again and I am back with the second part of our sketchbook tour. So this is where we kind of enter into more of the college era of the sketchbook. And I will be honest, it isn't as interesting, there aren't as many drawings. It's kind of more of an art book instead of like a sketchbook where I do more finalized pieces instead of sketching out ideas. I'm not entirely fond of the rest of the drawings in this in this book. Some I do like, some I don't like, but for the most part it's just not my favorite. So I don't think I'll speak too much in this. I might do a bit of a voiceover just to kind of explain a bit of what you're seeing, but beyond that we're just gonna kind of go through it and enjoy the rest of this sketchbook. Okay, voiceover time. And like I explained in the beginning, I'm not too fond of how the sketchbook turned out in the college years. I feel like I wasn't really using it to jot down my ideas the way I used to in high school. You'll see a few pages with some sketches, but a lot of the pages, it seems like I was trying to add marker, add color, and do some finalized pieces. And while I like some for the detail, like this Attack on Titan piece, I do not like most of them because they're just not that interesting. I just wasn't drawing that much, honestly. So you'll kind of see that in the sketchbook. It doesn't seem like I was drawing too much. Now for these last few pieces, this Mario piece, and then especially this marijuana piece, I do not smoke weed, I never have, but I had a friend who requested it. So I was doing a few requests in my sketchbook. So this one I will talk about live for a moment because if you remember, here I told you that I had this idea to combine the two and this was kind of the finalized piece for that. It's a little bit off proportionally, but I did enjoy kind of doing this and, and playing along with the stormtroopers not being able to hit a shot. So back again with our voiceover, you'll see again some half-baked ideas, nothing too specific. And then as we come across to this, this daily doodle, I tried to do this challenge for the whole year of 2016. I only got through a month, but I will be honest with you, I've never drawn every day for a month before. So this was kind of fun and exciting to do. However, because it was a daily drawing and I had other responsibilities, not all of them were very interesting. Like I tried my best to do some things. This cat one I'm really fond of, I thought it came out pretty cool, this galaxy cat. But for the most part, it just, I didn't really use the entire sketchbook and the way I typically like using sketchbooks is a lot of drawings on all of the pages and filling them up. I think it made me feel like I resorted back to some younger years where my sketchbooks weren't that filled out. And I'll probably show you guys a few of my younger sketchbooks where I don't necessarily draw on both sides of the sketchbook and I just put one thing in the image. But for the most part, I really like to fill them up. I feel like looking back on sketchbooks that have a lot of sketchy ideas on them are fun. And then for the sketchbook, you will see a lot of ideas again that I got from friends. So like this penguins holding the beach ball. One of my best friends asked me to draw that and I was just getting a lot of ideas from a lot of people. So none of it's really my style or even my style at the time. It was just trying to draw something to keep my hand loose and to keep creating art. And I will say, even though I'm not fond of a lot of these drawings or I feel like I really explored or tried too many things, I will say that at the end of the month, I felt like I became a better artist just for drawing constantly. I could feel myself drawing things a little bit quicker or just feeling more comfortable getting into the drawing habits than before. So I do recommend this kind of challenge. I would like to do this again in the future where I draw every day and it doesn't have to be something great or amazing, but just to keep my hand loose. And I will say I do enjoy some of the things I tried with this, like using oil pastels and some other media. So just trying to explore things like that. Also, I've never seen Frozen. I drew Olaf because my sister really wanted me to. <laughs> um, so that's a little honest thing on me. But I think moving forward, I don't have much to say. If there's anything I really feel compelled to tell you guys about, I will. Oh, I can say that in this one, that little cat at the bottom, he's like looking between his legs and I thought it was cute. So I wanted to highlight that. But for the rest of this video, I'll just put on some music, enjoy these sketches, even though unfortunately they're not the best. And I will see you guys in the next video. It should be exciting. We're gonna have another painting video. I have a really fun sketchbook spread that I'm ready to paint and I'm hoping to film that and release that pretty soon. So I will catch you guys on the flip side. Take care, bye-bye.
Cause it's telling fair They'll put you down and leave you there Don't make them scared 